Hi guys, I am super excited to cover today's video. Today we are going over Gothic interior design by popular request. Often the term Gothic Victorian house interiors causes people to really think of something kind of creepy. Sometimes we think of, you know, decrepit mansions with black walls and windows and heavy drapes, which I mean, there is a little bit of that in trend right now anyways. <laughs> However, the Gothic interior design style is not meant to be a Halloween scare fest. It actually is a really beautiful interior design style. In reality, this style is actually found as early as the 1740s with designs so beautiful and intricate that modern homeowners seek to incorporate these Gothic interior design characteristics into the look and feel of their homes even today. So when looking to bring this into your space, the Gothic interior design movement offers intricate, elegant, and beautiful pieces for your home. So the Gothic era actually really started around 1150 AD. It was actually during the medieval period, and it became a really significant part of the building design. You will find many gorgeous examples of Gothic style in the United Kingdom, throughout Europe in general, and in Paris, France in particular. This design is most apparent in the Gothic cathedrals, which were built to endure for centuries. This is one of the things that having traveled to Paris, I can honestly say is absolutely breathtaking. Just something that is truly amazing to think of what the tools and the availability of building materials, you know, like the tools and everything that they have back then to build such beautiful, ornate and just absolutely stunning buildings within this style, which, cause I just feel like today we don't see stuff like this anymore, right? Like, don't you agree? Like we just don't see this level of skill and detail today with all of the modern technologies that we have. One of my favorite elements with the Gothic architectural style is the flying buttress. It is very significant to this look and it's something that is probably one of the most iconic um, visual elements that you'll see, that you'll recognize. A lot of people have seen pictures of the Notre Dame in Paris. Of course, that has undergone a massive fire. So if you haven't had the opportunity to see it, I will include some pictures of it here before the damage that happened. But these were some of the most famous flying buttresses of the Gothic era that most people have at least seen an image of. So one of the tells with the Gothic interior design style is this pointy style, we'll say in air quotes. It was ornate look used in doorways, on chairs, in archways, in a way that people really hadn't seen before this time. Architects also use symmetry in a proportional manner to balance the Gothic interior space. So now when you think about the Victorian Gothic style, imagine ancient, beautifully decorated churches instead of those dark drear rooms. Picture yourself in a sanctuary with stately stained glass Gothic windows with complex designs, majestic fireplaces that hold court below exposed wooden rafters and beams, and as beautiful candlelight completes the divinely inspired look. So how do we achieve this Gothic style in your home? Let's start with some dramatic elegance. Don't be afraid to be dramatic in your Gothic interior, but you do want to keep it elegant. This is not a design for the timid or understated. When creating a Gothic home, drape those high-end fabrics, use heavy carved wood furniture with curved ornate features. Design your Gothic living room with lots of decorative detail. Your Goth bedroom will be decadent, luxurious, and highly sensual. In order to keep it really true to the Gothic roots, you do want to include some wallpaper within your space. Choose from something that's ornate, patterned, and create your favorite version of the Gothic style. If you're opting for paint, then you should be looking to use rich hues throughout the space. So talking about colors, when we're thinking of what colors to bring into your space, we do want to use black sparingly or in moderation in Gothic houses. You don't want to fall into that Gothic stereotype of dark haunted mansion. You do want to focus on rich, dramatic colors of this era. So although they are painted with dark colors, they're painted with dark and vibrant colors. So think of stuff like emerald green, deep burgundy, ruby red, or dark ocean blue. 
When pulling in some fabrics into your gothic space, think about bold and dramatic, however elegant for your modern gothic room. To achieve a gothic style, pick up silk, satin, and velvet fabrics with rich and bold colors, patterns, and textures. Velvet is a really nice touch for curtains, modern gothic furniture coverings. Satin works well for drapes, beddings, and pillows. Think glamour and decadence when selecting fabrics for your gothic home. So what accessories should you choose for a gothic house interior? So the gothic home contains many ornately styled decorations. You will want to select display pieces with heavy wrought iron, metal, wood, or stone features. Some good examples include pottery dishes, wooden carved sconces, and lamps made out of wrought iron. Add art to your home by searching for Gothic paintings. So what I love about the Gothic era is that there are so many different styles and pieces that can be added for a Victorian Gothic look. Consider how intense you wanna go with the Gothic interior design style. To go fully Gothic, add all the dramatic elements we discussed, including fabric, the textures, the rich colors, the dark wallpaper, the heavy curtains, the dramatic windows, the moldings, and the attention-grabbing architecture. Don't forget the Gothic bedroom furniture for a decadent feel to your Gothic style house. If you guys enjoyed the vibe of today's video, definitely go over and check out my Dark Academia video. I actually think if you like this style, you'll probably gravitate to that one as well. So definitely check that one out next. I'll link it here on the screen for you. Until next time, bye!